Yo, YouTube, what's up, man? It's your boy Hurricane Hearing, man. I know y'all been waiting on this video for a while, man. I'm sorry, man. I just, I wasn't ready for it, man. So, you know what? You see your boy, he had to step his game up, man. I'm here. I'm back. I'm ready to show y'all how I do my thing, man. You know, okay. You see what we got going on here? I got number curl. I got the curls popping right now. I see them things <laughs> at the curls popping but yo man what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go from the curls to the waves so y'all stay tuned it's your boy hurricane henry All right, man, enough of that, though. Man, seriously, though, man, what you gonna need, man? You gonna need you some combs. You gonna need you some brushes, man. It don't matter. Just grab some combs and grab some brushes that you good with, you know what I'm saying? And you gonna need you a mirror. You gonna need a mirror. Bigger the better. All right, let's go, man. Let's get into it. You know, some of y'all might not know my pattern right now, but you know, I got, I, it's 360 swirl, so when I go to coma, it's going to unveil itself anyway, so let's get it. So what Coleman is doing is, is stretching your waves out, man. What you wanna do, not stretching your waves, stretching your curls, I'm sorry. You're gonna stretch your curls out so it makes it easier to lay down. Right now, it look like it's giving me a fro. very important man to you to your connections man almost as put more more important than brush brushing is like the starter that get you going ways take you the comb and take you to the next level so just remember that if you want to be an elite waver you got to comb your hair Anybody, any other person with killing ways on here on YouTube that you see, they're going to tell you the same thing. you got to comb your hair. It's an essential part of waving, even though brushing is what's uh, key to it. When you're doing a swirl, man, this is probably the most trickiest part of your waving because I don't know, but at least for me, because I don't have horizontals right here, it's uh, the angle change is conflicting with my 360s because I was kind of, I pulled this part back, but as you know, 360s come down kind of like this and forward like that, so. Um, but I found the way, I found, I finally found the angle to make it right. So it's kind of like this right here. You start from the, you know, this, the back right of your crown. You want to pull it to the right just a little bit like this. Then when you get to this part, pull that part from around, around like this. Don't go all the way down though, because it's going to mess up your ways down here. It's gonna create a fork like it did right here for me. 
So what you want to do is just pull kind of right here, and then you come back around and you swoop with the comb. I know y'all can't see the waves right now, but you will soon. So yeah, man, so far this is what we got, man. We got a little mini for me. Probably like, man, where the ways at? I thought you were gonna have ways when you come. <laughs> no, man, they ain't here yet. They on their way, trust me, they on their way. All right, man, the next step we gonna do is we gonna do a washing style, basically. If you don't know about that, this is a method uh, by Young Wavy, I guess. Whoever came up with it, I don't know. But you basically just brushing your hair shampoo in it for right now we're gonna do shampoo and we're gonna do uh conditioners so the shampoo i use shea moisture products for my hair i don't know what y'all use but i like shea moisture products my favorite one is the uh, raw shea butter shampoo complex 10 in 1 renewing shampoo so yeah man here we go let's get into it I'm back <laughs> use the Jamaican black castor oil shampoo first Do a scramble wash, then we're gonna shower brush. And if you didn't know, this is how you get your hair curly in the first place, man. Get in there and wash your hair, just scramble wash and just don't brush it back down. But your hair gotta be at a pretty good curl length. When you brushing, you want to get a hard brush. You want to get a hard brush and you want to get a cheap brush because water basically damages your brushes. So you don't want to be walking and got an expensive brush like the Torino brushes or Kent brushes or Crown Quality, whatever kind of brush you use. You don't want to be messing up your good brushes. So you get your little cheap brush from Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, wherever you want to go. I'm, right now, I'm gonna be using this Con Hair. I love this brush. I don't know what model number it is or nothing like that, but I got it from CVS. So, and while your hair is soft, it's the best way to manage your hair when it's soft and wet. It's the easiest way to manage it. Let's see the waves come, come back at me as soon as I brush my hair in the shower, well, we're not in the shower, but as soon as I brush my hair with shampoo, my waves start to come back. Also, shower br brushing like this also lets you know if you're hitting the right angle. You can see every angle that you hit because of the soap and the way it leaves, like the trail. So. If you're not hitting the right angle, you will know.
my curls in just for the night. I had washed my hair last night, but got tired and said, I'ma just rock curls tonight, let my scalp breathe. So that's what I end up doing. See my waves coming back almost. <clears throat> now I'ma just put in another shampoo, get to work. This time you don't want to really this time so just get the shampoo and just rub it in there till it gets real loud up if you want you can put some more water on it from your sink or something once you got that just wash your hands out Wash your hands out. I got so many brushes in my sink, so I had to clear my brushes out. You're basically gonna do the same thing again. Grab your brush. Alright man, I'm switching the brush up this time to the Diane 8158. Get it in. You wanna do this as long as possible, man. I'm only gonna show y'all a short little bit today. But y'all basically got the idea of what you're doing in the shower. I mean when you're brushing. I usually do this in the shower. But just to show y'all what I'm doing, that's why I'm doing it outside. But it's good to do it like this too, because you can see your exact angle. So, I mean, either way, it's good. So, I mean, just keep on brushing, man. Once you get done brushing your hair, you're not gonna wash the shampoo out. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna grab a do-rag. You're gonna grab a do-rag and you're gonna uh, wave builder. I use wave builder do-rags, $2 from Walmart. I buy five of them at a time and it lasts me a couple months. So that's what you can do. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on do-rags, once it stretch out, I just open up a new one and go in with that one. I use these because they're thin and they stretch. They stretch and compress the best to me. The, the material is not the best, but the way that it, it, it shapes to your head, I like it. So that's what, um, that's why I use these. So once you get done shampooing your hair, all you're gonna do is put your do-rag on. Just like this. One way to prevent do-rag do lines in your head is you gotta open up your screen. Make sure your flaps are flat. Bring your flaps up. Don't pull them tight. That, that's definitely going to leave a line. Don't 
tied too tight either. Let's tie it tight enough. Pull down a couple times. Oh, now we got our do-rag on. And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go in the shower and rinse out. Um, a lot of guys use hot or uh, warm water when they rinse out, but me, I like using cold water. I like the way it reacts to my hair texture better. Everybody's hair texture is gonna be different, so, you know, it, you gotta uh, experiment to see what your hair likes to do. It might like warm water, it might like cold water. I'm gonna use cold water in the shower today, so that's what we're gonna do next. All right, we're here in, the sh in my shower, man. Y'all excuse it. I mean the best. That's what happened when you that's what happened when you pull, man. <laughs> Alright, man. Woo! Once you get out the get your head from under the shower, you just gonna grab a towel. Pat your head. Dry, dry yourself off. Pat your hair dry. Basically all you're doing is pat your hair dry. Once you get done patting your do-rag, there's nothing left but time. You gotta let your do-rag dry at least about two hours or however long it takes. If you're in a rush, all you can do, you can use a, a blow dryer and go ahead and do it like that. But if you don't want to use no heat to your hair, just let the hair dry. Take it off in a couple hours. I'm gonna get back with y'all on the results in a couple hours just to show y'all exactly, you know, what it gonna do. So stay tuned. All right, man, it's been about an hour or so. My hair's still a little damp, but I gotta get ready to go in a little second. So I wanna go ahead and uh, show y'all what I'm working with now. Shout out to my boy Wavy Crockett, uh, Tyron, and G Hun. You know, that's how we got a page on Facebook. If you don't know, it's called Waves or Life. If you want to come and learn about waves a little bit better, you know, you're missing out if you ain't on Facebook on the wave in the wave game, man. So, you know, just come check us out. Waves or Life. All right, man. Hurricane Hearing, man, signing out. <laughs>